Greetings and salutations, the National Blender is back, and I'm still Chris Freud, he's still Ian Smith. Let's talk Broncos. Yes. Let's talk Broncos. How? My boy, Brandon Marshall. Although he's having another problem with the law, we won't talk about that. But Yeah, yeah 18 catches, but who, who has the record? Terrell Owens. Of the 49ers. And did Which, he, am I, who was it that played the Seattle defense in the Vail Daily Fantasy I want to say it was... Evan? Evan. Aha! See, the Niners also win. But seriously, Broncos, we got to talk about it. Everyone's been talking about it. What did you? What were you thinking at the time that Shanahan elects to go for two instead of overtime? Um, I don't know if it's appropriate for this. <laughs> Probably the not. Might be watching, what the? Ah! Basically, it was like what you know. And then uh, very very happy afterwards. Like, yes, yeah, so like he's coaching and I'm a sports writer. Uh, okay, yeah, because otherwise we sports writers would have spent the week roasting him to death yeah. if they had missed that. So, and we are proud to report that the Vale Daily is so committed that young Ian is going yes. to be there on hand. Saints and Broncos this week. Your thoughts, Schwam? Reggie Bush, Drew Brees, and company coming uh, I think coming it's going to gonna be another high-scoring game. Denver's defense doesn't look very good at all this year. So. <laughs> <laughs> but their offense looks awesome. So I'm predicting another 38-35 victory for the Broncos. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is one thing. I mean, again, we are only in week two. Although the yeah. Niners won. The Niners won. The Niners won. <laughs> we are only in week two. You can win with offense this time of year. Defense, however, when it starts to get cold and you mm. start playing the better teams, this is what might be concerning some Bronco fans and delighting some of those who don't like the Broncos. <laughs> well, let's talk about um, the low 49ers. They gave up 30 points, though, too. Yeah, but we're not expected to be good. <laughs> Everyone was like, holy cow, they won a game. <laughs> um, so, great Monday night game. Um, oh, man. Talking talk about offense. Oh, man. Yeah. I, that, <laughs> Terrell Owens scores two touchdowns, and then Don McNabb comes back. Was, yeah. I was hoping the Eagles would end it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I hate the Cowboys anyway. <laughs> but And we've got some good games on prime time this week. Um, Packers we, Cowboys. We've again. got Packers Cowboys Sunday Night Football, which yep. should be an interesting game. Aaron Rodgers' first real, yeah. real test. Then we'll see if the Chargers can get screwed again <laughs> on Monday night. <laughs> yes, well, the, the, uh, the Chargers and the uh, Jets, which means the incomparable Brett Favre, will be playing. That's my question. Who are they going to talk about more lovingly, Romo or Favre? Because Romo's kind of taking Favre's spot. No, as, like, no, most... no. The Brett Favre always wins the droolometer when it comes to the... Uh, <laughs> To to the fan yeah to the broadcasters, anyway, uh, college football uh, CU uh, beats yeah, West Virginia awesome game, yeah. big big win yay for Nate Peterson our Aspen sports uh, editor. Um, what are you looking at this week for big games on the college football heart? By the way, yeah, who won that USC Ohio State game is correctly predicted by me. Uh, I think it was thirty-five to three. I just can't remember who won. It was I think that was USC okay. and another yeah. stupid pick by the fruit dude. <laughs> anyway, I'm big big games uh, this weekend. Well, I'm, my focus is always in the Big Ten, so I mean, <laughs> people out here don't care, but uh, Iowa plays Pittsburgh, and there's some big SEC games, I know, uh, Auburn and... Florida, Tennessee, too? Yeah, and Auburn, uh, LSU, so that's going to be a good one. Okay, and of course, Yale opens up against Georgetown, and Pomona is playing both Lewis and Clark, those are important games, uh, Cal has a bye week, <laughs> so, um, Ryder Cup, as of now, U.S. won the, uh, for the three of the four of the opening morning matches, uh, we still expect the United yeah. States to crash and burn because, well, it's the United States. <laughs> <laughs> so, no and baseball, blitz. baseball. Uh, who's going to win the East, Rays or Red Sox? Rays are going to win the American League East. Phillies are going to win the National League East, and the Brewers are going to win the wild card, leaving the Mets out again. Okay. And don't forget, the Dodgers are up right now in the National League West. There's quite a bit of precedence for the Dodgers folding, including the fact that Dodgers play six of their final nine or ten against a certain team from San Francisco. <laughs> Kids, this is a rivalry. I know you people don't understand it. You're ignorant. It's not your fault. Um, the Giants and the Dodgers are, gr are a great rivalry, and the Giants would love nothing more than to knock the, the Dodgers out, and that can't that can happen. So go D-backs, go Giants, and we will see you next week on the Sports Blender. You want to check out any uh, breaking news on the national or international scene, check out veldaily.com. See you next week.